But first, British lawmakers grilled Barclays former CEO Bob Diamond over the bank's interest rate manipulation on Wednesday. The bank already faces more than $450 million of fines as a result, but Diamond claims the UK's third largest bank is being unfairly judged for coming forward about their questionable practices. Rochelle Kufel explains. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm disappointed, and I'm also angry. Ex-CEO Bob Diamond's sober apology for the behavior of the bank's traders did little to ease the frustration from the British Treasury Committee. Do you live in a parallel universe to the rest of the UK? Andrea, I, I'm just going to say it again. The, the behavior when it came up, it was between 2005 and 2007 primarily. There were a few instances after that. There have been none since the investigation started. Andrea, it's wrong. It's reprehensible. Diamonds claimed the bank had spent almost $200 million investigating the fraudulent trades that affected the London Interbank Offered Rate, or LIBOR, a daily benchmarking figure issued by major banks estimating the average cost of borrowing money from each other. $200 million pales in comparison when you consider the collective value of the securities that LIBOR affects, $800 trillion. That's trillion with a T. Diamond described his reaction when he discovered the congratulatory emails that traders sent each other for manipulating interest rates in the years prior to the global financial crisis. As I got it downloaded and started going through it, and I got to some of the emails, I got physically ill. Lawmakers also grilled Diamond over a 2008 memo in which he suggests the Bank of England or the government were giving Barclays the green light to report higher borrowing costs than other banks, a claim that is still under investigation. But the former CEO insists that Barclays has been unfairly singled out for scrutiny, ironically for cooperating with regulators and being forthcoming about its wrongdoing. Committee members had little sympathy for his response. You're in charge, you're paid bonuses, 20 odd million a year in pay and bonuses. You're the man in charge, the book stops with you. You must have been grossly incompetent in your job during that period of time if you weren't complicit in this. The fallout from this scandal could severely damage the reputation of the 300-year-old bank. Diamond claimed his decision to resign would be a step towards shedding light on a culture of questionable banking practices. So that this is looked at in the true context of being about an industry uh, and about LIBOR in addition to Barclays and uh, prevent the damage to the reputation that's happened over the last week, the best way for me to do that was to step down. Diamond stopped short of saying he would forfeit his shares in the company, as he previously told the committee. Rochelle Akufo, CCTV, Washington.